آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ It's an iterated battle. Um, it's a cat and mouse game. With governments, with corporations, um, we were predominantly wor- worried about governments. And so we took a series of different uh, approaches to this. The first was legal. We looked very hard at where we should incorporate. Um, and having spent quite a lot of time looking at all sorts of alternatives, Belgium turns out is pretty good on freedom of speech. Um, and it's that particular iteration. We thought of going rogue and setting up in the Cayman Islands. Uh, or, or some lost jurisdiction that um, was difficult to attack. Um, and actually we realized that the country which has, takes um, requests from less than free governments for information around their, about their citizens, the very best country in the West is the UK. So we incorporated in the UK, having looked at that quite carefully. We got quite a lot of very, very excited IP lawyers Um, working pro bono to identify what we were, were we a media publisher, were we a platform, were we somewhere in between, to ensure that um, we were best protected, we had the best armour to deal with what we imagined were going to be government requests for information from us. And then we worked on the technology side. So the two key pieces that we worked with was one, scraping all the metadata out of the information that we took from these storytellers, from our witnesses, to ensure that that metadata couldn't be used to trace them back. With an image, as you know, um, the metadata of a digital image will include where it was taken. Well, sorry, will always include when it was taken, will often include where it was taken. We'll give you the serial number of the camera if it's a camera, the serial number of the phone if it's a phone. And so we uh, set up an automated system to ensure that all that was pulled out. That's content coming to the site. And, and anonymity or pseudonymity. And then we built, the only thing that we could describe it as was as much education as we could around ensuring that the way people delivered material into the site was as anonymous as possible if they needed it to be. 